Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. So today the topic is how much testosterone do you actually need? But before we get into that, I just want to give a big shout out and thank you to everybody out there supporting the channel. Everybody's so amazing. I can't thank you enough. The comments, the feedback, the emails, the subscriptions, the likes, thank you. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and also don't forget to click that bell notification after you subscribe, otherwise YouTube is not going to send you notifications and you do not want to miss out on this kind of information. I know you don't. Um, also, when the video starts, you'll notice that you'll see three different um, pop-ups down there on podcast for me. These videos are in podcast form. Apple, Spotify, Google, so make sure that you follow along there as well. It's nice listening if you can't just watch the videos as well. So let's talk about this. How much testosterone do you actually need? Because I see this often, and it's a very, very subjective answer, okay? I see a lot of people making the claim that if you don't run 500 milligrams of test, just don't even do it. You're not going to make any gains. I see people saying you need a gram of test a week. Then I see people saying all you need is 200 milligrams a week. Look, <clears throat> every single one of you, me, the next person, the next person, major bodybuilders, everyday Joes, whatever you want to say, we're all different. All of us respond differently to amounts, to compounds. There's gear quality can come into question. There's so many different aspects of this. Some people eat better. Some people train better. Everybody's genetics are quite different. Um, there's so much that factors into that. Let me just tell you this. I've been doing this well over a decade, coaching people, things of that nature. No, I'm not the biggest guy in the world because I don't want to be and I don't try to be. If I did, and I've got plenty of pictures of bulking phases that I'm big enough, I don't like to, but I've seen it, I've coached it, I've done it all. I know what works, I know what responds people get from certain, you know, different dosings, things of that nature. If anybody's telling you that you have got to use 500 milligrams of testosterone to make gains, me personally, I'm not even, I, I won't even associate with them. I'm sorry. I just won't. I won't hear another word they have to say about anything. Is that a good dose to make good gains? Sure. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. You know, I've seen so many cycles where people and, and this is with stacks of things. Where testosterone, I always feel, is the backbone of a cycle. A lot of people are fine running oral-only cycles, and hey, that's cool. I got nothing against it anymore because you can make some gains on those. You can. I just feel that the cycle is always going to be better. It's going to be uh, more productive. It's going to be a, a different kind of recovery, etc. when you're using testosterone. I just always feel when steroids are involved... This is not talking about SARMs, peptides, anything else, but if you're going to run other steroids, I personally believe that testosterone should be in there. Not everybody does, and I'm not saying you can't make gains without it. But like, for instance, if you're running a stack of Test Trend and Masteron, please do not tell me that you need 500 milligrams of test there because that is just craziness. Or just test with anything. You do not need 500 milligrams of test or a gram or anything of the sort. Now, if you're a professional bodybuilder and a pro, that is completely different. I see people that go, will the pros do it? Will the pros run this? Will the pros run that? That's a fact. It certainly is. I'm not going to argue that with anybody. They do. But look at the pros and then ask yourself, am I a pro? Um, and even if you have aspirations to be a pro, and that's great. I I. Man, you guys have no idea how much I love to see people with aspirations, dreams, and that will and, and know-how and just that drive. I love it. I live to see that within people. That makes me have more hope for everybody, and it just makes me, it puts me in a different kind of mood. A joyful mood. I'm getting goosebumps. You can't see, but literally just speaking on it. That's how much it means to me. But I also have a problem when I see people giving bad advice and putting people in harmful situations. You can make plenty of gains on a cycle with 300, 350 milligrams of test. You can go in and look on forum after forum after forum and see people with logs doing that. I've got logs doing that with huge amounts of gains made. They're all over the place, everywhere. I've coached it. I can't tell you how long. I've got so many clients right now and I have non-disclosures and things of that nature and I can't get into it too much that are doing that exact kind of dosage 
and some even testosterone only cycles some with stacks and obviously the more you stack the less you're probably going to need because you're going to be you know getting whatever you can from everything else i've always been the one that's like use testosterone as the backbone and let the other compound shine so for instance um here's an example of a cycle that i always recommend it's a test deck and primo 350 milligrams each of test and deca and 600 milligrams of prima bullet and my gosh have i seen some serious gains made on that cycle and i mean serious or just a test and d ball cycle with test at like 300 350 d ball 30 40 milligrams a week four weeks huge huge gains you don't have to run absorbent amounts of compounds for most compounds to get a lot out of them. A little bit is going to go a long way. Now, there are certain ones I've spoken about, Primable and Masteron, Equipoise, where you're going to want to run them a little higher to get more out of them. And you got test there as your backbone, but you don't got to go crazy with testosterone. Listen, generally speaking, when you're dosing testosterone, your testosterone level is going to be five to seven times where you're dosing. I like it to be seven times of where you're dosing. So let's Say, for instance, 500 milligrams, since that seems to be the number everybody wants to go back to. Your testosterone number is probably going to be 2,500 to 3,500, more likely 3,500. All right, seven times. There's, there's no reason to be walking around with that too long. It's not healthy. It's not safe. A lot of these professionals, they do run those kind of doses, and they need those kind of doses to get that kind of size. All right, but they're pros. That is completely different. Just because they do it doesn't mean that every single person out there should do it. It just doesn't. It, that doesn't even make sense. It literally makes no sense because you have to put yourself in the position you're in in retrospect in comparison to everybody else. It's not necessary to make gains. Now, if you're a pro, I'm going to coach you completely and utterly different than I do just a normal person every single day. Obviously, I think I, I would hope that would be common sense, but then again, there's people that have blasted so many steroids out there or that may be on cycle that aren't thinking clearly, but they've lost a tremendous amount of brain cells or function, or just there's a lot of people, unfortunately, that just don't think about tomorrow nor care. You do not have to run absorbent amounts of testosterone to make gains. You don't. Look. And also, everybody's different in terms of, like, for instance, how prone they are to estrogen. Some people are extremely prone, and they're going to find that even with an aromatase inhibitor, they're having issues at 500 milligrams, and it's not worth it. There's so many factors that go into that, all right? And I just want people to understand and be aware that when you hear that kind of thing that, oh, you have to run this amount, or it's just, look... It's just not factual, and I don't want to throw shade or stones. Look, I'm not doing those types of things anymore. I'm not trying to belittle or talk shit or any of that. I don't want to do that. I, that's not who I am anymore. I've done things like that in the past, and I don't want to be that guy anymore. I'm not that guy, but I want to make sure that people do understand what's necessary and what's not, and like I said, Everybody's different. The way I would coach people is completely different based upon so many different factors, so many. Just don't fall into that trap, please, because ultimately it could get you hurt. It really could. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but chances are a lot higher, and I just would love to see that avoided. So that's my humble opinion on things and my thoughts. You can agree, you can disagree, and I got no issue either way. I am just here to simply present what I've experienced, what I know, and then it's yours to use as you can and will. I appreciate all the support. I love you all. Thank you again. Stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.